Hello again. It's been a while since you last seen me. Ever since I dropped my first film, things have changed for the better for me. I've been working on more consistently, working on my technique, and trying to achieve more tricks, more feats, and overall achieve a better body. But this film is not just about me. It's about how my actions influence the people around me for the better. Hey, well, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. This is the aftermath. This is where I talk about what happens after my film. And you know, I just want to thank you guys for all the support you gave me. And you know, I'm going to keep going hard for you. This aftermath is going to last about one month, you know. It's going to try to change as much people as possible and see how my influences like change people. So without further ado, let's get into this. Also, one other thing. If you ever want to work out with me, I actually did create the app. It's on the app store, strongsociety.com. But you just got to search in Strong Society. I might link it in the bio. I'm not sure. But um, <laughs> thank you. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, you know, I'm here with Dante. We're at Chinkuzi Park. And we're about to mix up our game a little bit with some weights, you know. We don't just do regular body weight out here. We also do, like, weights, you know? Weighted. So we're about to shoot a little bit of dice. I got this zone, number two, four, and six, right? So anytime I roll something that's one or two, it's gonna be right here. Anytime I roll something three or four, it's gonna roll right here. Anytime I roll five or six, it's gonna be right there. So you know, let's get this dice game going. Good. We're gonna be doing a calisthenics workout. This time, as you can see, we got some weights. You know, I know George likes to do body weight, but you know, I'm a gym guy, if you guys already know. I like to, I like to overload. That's how you build muscle. I mean, George looks good, but he can always look better if he adds muscle. But today we're gonna be working out. This is for the aftermath. You guys obviously don't know what that is yet, but you'll figure it out eventually. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. All right, so I'm about to roll. Three, what is that? That's dips, right? Okay, bad. <laughs> okay, now the reps. Holy 12. It's been a while since I worked out with Dante. I remember when we just started doing this for fun, when there was nothing else to do in quarantine. He was more of a weight guy. Those niggas said you in three reps. <laughs> niggas always go to bug extra me shots for the extra shots for the film, bro. Actually, I I'm not gonna lie, weights were the challenge that I really needed. Body was getting a little bit boring. Especially since I felt like I knew all the tricks. But when Dante brought the weights in, I knew it was time to get serious. There was no backing down from this one. Roll after roll, rep after rep, set after set. We weren't trying to give up any of that. We were putting in hard work. Nothing was soft about these workouts that he put me through. This had to be one of the best workouts I've had in a long time. Oh, you better not burn out, cuz. <laughs> the workouts lasted for about an hour, but each rep made our muscles even more sore than before. I got a pretty good pump out of it. Come a bit lower, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like what? 11? I don't know uh, if you're done or not. Are you done? <laughs> Yo. All right. Throughout the month of August, and a little bit into September, I've been more consistent with my workouts. I didn't know that someone wanted to join me my calisthenic journey he took that first step to message me and since then 
he's been consistent with it. Making plans to work out three to four times a week and at least one hour every time. He knows that the path to improvement is slow, but he still keeps on going. He told me that he wanted to be better. He didn't want to be average anymore. He didn't want to live an average life. He didn't want to do average things and do average things with average people. He wanted to do things that would improve his life. And like I said in the last film, if a friend comes to me and he wants to change physical body, your calisthenics, or any other form of sports, I'll be happy to help anywhere that I can. This is one of the reasons why I created Strong Society in the first place. Our new friend was starting to like calisthenics more and more, becoming more eager to learn a new trick or becoming more eager to be able to do more reps than the first time. He was improving. Even though he didn't see it, I did. He became more durable and more strong. And it wouldn't be a matter of time before we'd be doing this stuff with no effort at all. These improvements made me feel like a real role model. And I knew I just couldn't slip anymore. Because for the first time in my life, people were looking at me for help. It felt great. Yeah, so today is the, uh, <laughs> Saturday, Saturday the uh... Cap, Cap, Sunday. Uh, Sunday, yeah, yeah. The 26th? Okay. All right. <laughs> Today is uh, Sunday the 26th. Here's your core. Park's wet, it's been raining for a few days, so. We've got the only dry spot. We're doing stuff with a bench today. It's all bench work. We're gonna get this working. It rained for about two days. So the only thing we could use was a bench. We ended up getting creative with it, using the bench for ab exercises and doing push-ups off the bench. We didn't need bars to get done what we needed to get done. To be honest, I think we put in just as much work using that one bench than using the bars in general. We did push-ups in sync building a teammate-like relationship, not letting each other down, and encouraging the other to do better. Out of the month of September, this session had to be one of my favorite workouts. But now, it was time for our friend to formally introduce himself to us. All right, so today I'm here with Shakur. And Shakur, you've been working on me for the past two weeks. How does it feel? It feels really good. Really good. All right. Where do you see yourself by spring? By spring? Um, oof. Should be super, super in shape. You know what I'm saying? You know, not too bulky. You no, know, I want to fit my body. And yeah, because you know, all my life I've been, you know, people always said, you know, I have so much potential. And now I'm actually, you know, I'm trying to take that in. So let's see what my body will look like spring. My guy George, bro. Best workout buddy I've ever worked with. No cap, you know me. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Um, yeah, I worked out with others before, you know. George actually motivates you, takes his time with you, you know. Actually wants to put in the effort with you. And he was not rushing you. You can't do things to so help out. And yeah, man. I like that, you know. It's my guy. I boy, and for all the ND people, fam, I'm still, you know, a ghost out here. I'm still out here. You know, catch, catch me at work. Yeah. I'm joking, don't even catch me at work. Please, I don't want to see any of you guys. Uh, <laughs> All right, Shakur, you did good. <laughs> All 
All right. So I guess it's the end of the film, you know? Thank you for watching till the end. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got motivated by it. And um, I hope you try a new sport because of it. If you ever want to try a new sport, I'm always there to help you out and support you. And um, speaking of support, I've seen a lot of these TikTok comments and these TikTok likes. I love the support. I love the motivation. I've seen the YouTube views and I've seen the comments. So I love those as well. Without further ado, it's George from Strong Society, and I'm signing off.